jumping straight into it. Uh, here we have the Deoxys V V Battle pre-made deck. As official as it gets. Um, I had recorded this one other time and the video just isn't working uh, with my editor. So this is what we've got, right? Comes with damage counters, comes with everything to get started, a flip coin, all that good stuff. So moving past that, um, this is our main guy, right? Deoxys V. Under 10 hit points, psychic type. So it's got two moves here a psychic colorless and a psychic, psychic colorless. Um, psychic does 30 plus 30 more damage for each energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. So that's 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 decent. Um, then we have the three energy power edge does one forty. Again, it's okay. Um, so the reason I have two is because I also got the uh, the expansion for it, the V Star V Max. So here we have a uh, attack mode which would come in the form of a V Star, two hundred seventy hit points. Psychic Javelin Star Force, Psychic Javelin does 190 damage. Along with 60 damage to one of your opponent's benched Pokemon V. Um, it also bypasses weakness and resistance for benched Pokemon, so. This is where it gets kind of fun. Um, this definitely brings the deck to life. Um, the expansion really just came with the V Max and V Star, along with some boosters and a couple little things. Um, a large, uh, larger scale uh, Pokemon card as well. So here we have the Dynam the V Max. Well, Dynamax V Max uh, Deoxys has 330 HP compared to the, to the 270. Uh, still Psychic. This one has an ability, Protect the DNA. All of your Pokemon take 30 less damage from attacks. Your opponent's Pokemon V Star. After applying weakness and resistance, so decent. Um, this will be the defense mode Deoxys. Um, personally, I prefer him over the attack mode for longevity. Um, but uh, if you want to get things wrapped up, the Deoxys V Star it's a little bit better. Um, he only has one attack, max strain, 160 hit point damage. He needs one psychic energy. Two colorless or any other energy and it also deals 30 damage from this Pokemon so again longevity tons of hit points recovers a little bit of HP um, per attack and actually we didn't talk about the star force on Deoxys V star this attack does 60 damage for each energy attached to both active Pokemon so that's a good way to damn near knock anything out so again, these are two guys you do not want in your prize, uh, <laughs> in your prize area. Um, you want to get to them as soon as possible. Uh, Deoxys V, it just works. Um, having a copy of it is just amazing. Um, it really does help. Getting into the deck, we have, you know, obviously psychic energy. This is a solely psychic deck. Um, built around looking for your uh, evolutions um, we have our evolution incense um, a good backup or a complimentary uh, Pokemon to your Deoxys here is your Gardevoir uh, evolution uh, evolution line Rouse and Carlia one energy each you summon them you involve them Carly does a little more damage than Brawls, obviously. A little more hit points. And they just swap, swap, swap. As long as they don't get one shot early on, get to the Gardevoir. Then Shining Arcana, if you use your ability, lets you draw two cards. And 
If any of them are energy, you can still apply them to any Pokemon in any way you want. So, amazing. It doesn't end your turn, and any other cards that aren't energies get added to your hand. <laughs> Broken. 140 hit, hit points, Brainwave does 60 damage, uh, plus an extra 30 for each Psychic attached to it. So if you go through the evolution line, you're kind of working towards that. Um, by the time, you know, that, that would be a good backup strat. Let's say you don't pull your Deoxys. You have your Brainwave there, just knocking things out. Um, what else do we have? We also have our... Let's stack these up, actually. Make some... Uh, open up some real estate here. Right, so... Items, obviously our energies. Uh, great Ball, you know what that does. Look at the top seven cards of your deck. Reveal a Pokemon and put it in your hand, then shuffle. That's okay. Uh, but this is the guy I wanted to talk about now. Drifloon. Doesn't seem like much, but again, if that's all you have, it's not the worst thing in the world. Um, and if your opponent has a some pretty bad luck, it'll, it'll, it'll take you there for a second. Uh, flip three coins, 10 damage per heads. Um, his evolution would be the Drifloon. I believe there's two of each in this deck. Put two damage counters on one of your opponent's benched Pokemon while also doing 50 damage for one energy. If one energy is all, you're, all you've got, put it on Driftbloom. Um, obviously, Guard of Wire would be the goal here, but Driftbloom just get things moving. Um, not terrible. Oh, we got plenty of energies. Again. Art of War. We have a Clado. Um, this is where you get a little experimental. That would be your uh, sort of. That's all I've got. Uh, moment. Ball toy takes two energies. It's similar to your Drifloon. Drifloon does ten damage per heads, flipping three coins with one Psychic. While Ball toy is two colorless, twenty damage. Uh, for every heads again flipping three coins so yeah Balto has less HP Claydol has the same HP as uh, Driftbloom at 110 um, again it's it. if that's all you've got that's all you've got um, spinning attack I would say this is a pretty forgettable part of the deck for me personally um, I've ran it plenty of times online it's just forgettable um, when you add your Deoxys V-Star and V-Max, they actually recommend removing Baltoy and Claydol for these two, just straight up. They are the weakest link here. So, coinciding figures takes three. It, again, three energy versus one, it just works. Um, coinciding figures has a chance of doing 90 damage. Well, definitely do 90 damage, plus another 90 if you and your opponent have the same amount of uh, benched Pokemon. So. That's the only time that would shine, but for how long? You can only kill, uh, defeat one one uh, active Pokemon, and then you're already mismatched. So that's that's uh, again weakest link. Sort of okay right here with Driftblim. Having at least one Guard Wire would be a goal. I've ran two guard wires plenty of times uh, over the span of a match and that's just broken your your uh, Deoxys VMAX and V-Star will have all the energy in the world uh, let's see what else do we have just a couple supporters here keep your uh, keep your drawing cards hop draws three cards book catcher draws two flip heads and you draw two more uh, Sean is a good backup strat let's see you've got nothing Shuffle your hand back into your deck. Draw five cards. Not the worst. Lucky Ice Pop. This is fun if you have some decent luck. Three times in a row, maybe more. Heal 20 damage from your active Pokemon. Flip a coin of heads, you put it back in your hand. Being an item, non-supporter, you can just 
keep going within the same turn once you're all healed up if you're that lucky you're good <laughs> uh, it's it's a fun card for sure uh, oh, great ball evolution incense draw card energy Oh, Cresselia. I haven't talked about Cresselia yet. So, honestly, I don't know if I would place Cresselia between Claydol and Driplin, or between Driplin and Cardivore. I don't rely on it, um, I'm not gonna lie. It's Crescent Glow, sort of benefits you if it's the first uh, basic, literally first turn, but I wouldn't rely on it really. I think you have two in the, in the basic deck. If you have at least five energy in play, the deck does 90 more damage. But by then, your Gardevoir would probably have the most psychic uh, energy. So why would he even be on the field? <laughs> That's just the way I see it. Um, again, a little forgettable. I'm just going through the deck, seeing what uh, stands out, see what I'm missing here. Uh, plenty of energies. You shouldn't have a problem with energy. We may have one or two cooks. Supporter, real quick. Heal 70 damage. Forget about it. Shauna. Search your deck for up to two basic Pokemon, or two basic energy. Reveal them and put them in your hand. Again. So, so, I said Shauna. Sonya can help. Sonya can help. Move things along. Um, just, I have another deck that really doesn't rely on RNG, on luck, on any of that. Um, it's more so, I'm gonna grab what I need as soon as possible, and that's it. <laughs> so, Sonya helps a little with that. Switch card, switch your active base Pokemon. With one of your best Pokemon, if you do, heal 30 damage from the Pokemon you moved. Uh, from uh, moved to your bench, so your active Pokemon covers 30, and that's it. Um, and when, when you swap, obviously active to bench, bench to active, active recovers 30. I actually haven't used this once. I had it in my deck, I do not use it at all. Um, this is me personally, maybe it's my, my luck. Um, that this guy gym trainer draw two cards if any of your pokemon were knocked out during your opponent's last turn draw two more cards kind of specific to benefit from its full mechanics but if you're in a pinch hold on to that hold on to that um i don't know what i would prefer the sony or the gym trainer but it's good to have a little something in your hand uh, again Drop your cards. Drift Loom, more Psychic. I'm gonna have to reshuffle this deck later. It is a quick little deck to just get into, pick up, put down. It just works. Great Ball, Bug Catcher again. Draw two cards. Flip a coin, a Peds, draw two more. If not, you just stay with your two cards. Second Gym Trainer. Second Switch Cart. Drift Loom and Drift Balloon. So. I believe I had one other evolution incense. Again, the evolution incense, all it does, it helps you helps you find a evolution Pokemon. And that's it. Not a base. So you get things moving, it just works. Um, if you didn't know, it's okay. Deoxys VMAX and V Star count as evolutions. You can see they evolve from Deoxys V. So, you have your Deoxys down, let's say it's got a couple of energy, boom, Evolution Incense, boom, Evolution Incense. You really don't need both, but if you're really trying to show who's boss, you can have both and a Guard of Wire, you're set. Um, plenty, plenty, plenty of energy. Uh, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. To me, 18 is a lot. Um, 
again, it just works. So, to recap, Gardevoir, Shining Arcana, you can use it every turn, draw two cards, if there's Psychic Energy, throw them on the field, if they're not, throw them to your hand, play a Gym Trainer, draw two more cards, okay, are those energies, yes, throw one on, if they're not, hopefully you've got an item, hopefully it's a Great Ball, I mean you're set up for a Great Ball, or an Evolution in a sense, um, this deck's built pretty well. Um, it's okay. Um, I feel like out of the box, the Ice Rider, uh, what is it, Calyrex? Salyrex? It's still my favorite. Bang for your buck. $30, more or less, about $27, $30. You're in, you're out, you're winning. Um, with this, uh, the deck was about $15, let's say, $17, $18 at the door. $30 for the expansion, so you're spending, let's say, $50, $60 with tax and everything included. So, again, it, what's your budget? <laughs> if you're a Deoxys fan, go for it. That's what I was, and I went for it, and I don't regret it. It really doesn't lose. I fought, fought, uh, matched up against people that have uh, decks with all of these stars, and my guard wire will just carry. Drifblim will just hang around, and it just works. Play-Doh, again, these, forgettable. I already took out two of these for the VMAX and V-Star. I don't remember what I took out for Deoxys, but it was probably like the, the Switch cart. I don't really switch out basics too often. Um, every now and then you do have to offer one, <laughs> or, be, or be willing to uh, lose one, so you can power up something else on your bench. And be ready for the next one. But let me get some of this back together. That is that, and catch you guys in the next one.